Gamma knife, the concept, has been around for a very long time and often patients have not even heard about it when they come to the office. I've been doing it about 20 years, so I've had the opportunity to see many different patients and I've also worked with every generation of the machine that's ever been made, all which have improved with time. In uh, early of 2013 is when we started treating our first patient and we're well over 250 patients at this point. Some of the disorders that gamma knife can treat can include something like called an arterial venous mal malformation, cavernous angiomas, which they can be treated with gamma knife in select cases. The functional disorders such as trigeminal neuralgia, severe obsessive compulsive disorder. Then there is the combination of malignant tumors and then benign tumors. The condition that you have really determines, you know, overall how you're going to respond to the treatment. So, for instance, in the benign conditions with these deep-seated tumors, as long as you're able to control the growth, then I would consider that a success. And I think most radiation oncologists and neurosurgeons would agree that every tumor doesn't have to go away completely as long as it does not grow and cause problems. There are many advantages to having gamma knife surgery. All non-invasive treatment is done through radiation beams. It is highly precise, targeting only the diseased area without damaging any healthy surrounding tissue. And patients are usually treated in one session. No need to come back for more surgery over time. Once the patient gets to uh, Gamma Knife, they arrive usually early in the mornings around about 5.30 a.m. Uh, we let them know that they are able to come in uh, dressed in pajamas or just scr scrubs, whatever they feel comfortable in. Once we get the patient back to the Gamma Knife area, we do vital signs on them. We have the patient lie down, we'll give them a warm blanket and they're greeted by the nurse and the other staff that's there. We give all patients what we call an anxiety medicine. It helps them to relax. We offer it because it helps with anxiety and it helps the patient get through this process a little bit uh, easier. Once they've taken the medication, we start an IV. Through the IV, they can get medications once the surgeon comes. Also, we put numbing medicine at the four pin sites where we will be inserting the frame. After the surgeon's done applying the frame, the uh, physicist comes. We have two physicists that come. They do the measurements of the skull, and these measurements are uh, done before the MRI so that we can uh, insert those uh, skull measurements into the MRI images. The patient then goes to MRI. Once the patient is done in MRI, he returns to his room. The surgeon, the radiation oncologist, the and the physicists all collaborate the Gamma Knife plan. We let them know that at all times we can see them, we can hear them, and they can talk to us if that any time they need to say anything or if they need to stop, we can stop. If they need a potty break, we can take a potty break. I mean, so um, we try to make things as comfortable as we can for the patients while they're back there. Usually they go to sleep, sometimes don't realize that the procedure is actually going on because it's such a smooth process. We give them a menu and they can uh, choose just about whatever they'd like to eat. Most of the time um, they do have get breakfast because they can't eat anything after midnight. Uh, they really enjoy the breakfast. Uh, then after an hour, they're able to uh, go home. Um, they're back to their normal routine within, um, once the medication wears off and within 24 hours, uh, they're able to drive again. When they hear about Gamma Knife, it's a lot of times they're like, where, where has it been? Why haven't I heard about this? So um, we get a lot of patients that are very appreciative of Gamma Knife. Visit us at imaginebetterhealth.org to learn more about our breakthroughs in neuroscience.